And with the release of Blender 4.0, anyone can now create node tools. These tools can be used within your edit mode or you can simply make modifiers. The good thing about this is you don't need to code or even know how to write a single line of Python script. In addition to that, the folks at Blender Foundation have also announced and done two things that would help the use of Blender 4.0. And one of them deals with a free file that you can pick up and start working with if you like to explore what node tools look like. And for those who like to know how to create these node tools, we've already created a series of videos on the channel that teaches you how to create the tools and also the modifiers. And for the sample tools that the folks at Blender Foundation have released, you might need to go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can read up and and scroll all the way down and download it. And in addition to this file release, the folks at Blender Foundation have just recently released a patch for Blender 4.0. And if you would like to download this and avoid some of these bugs that has been caught and also fixed, they might want to download the recent version of Blender 4.0, which you definitely find on the Blender download page and start working with it. And with that said, we did miss out on mentioning something that was pretty important when we talked about all the features coming to Blender 4.0. And that is the fact that Blender 4.0 is fully aligned with the VFX reference platform 2023, making it easier to integrate it in Studio Pipelines. And for those who like to read up on the VFX reference platform, then you might want to go over to vfxplatform.com or you might want to check out the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can read up on all of this for yourself. Also, if you like to start creating in Blender, then you might want to consider taking a look at the game art in Blender 2023 made available by Game Dev TV. This is currently part of the Humble Bundle sales right now and it will save you a lot of fun. So if you're trying to get into animation and rigging, blender material nodes, you want to learn how to sculpt, create environments, work with geometry node, create anime characters in blender, or probably you're into stylized or low poly stuff, you do have a ton of things right here. More so, you'd also be able to get the packs that are currently available. So there are material packs and alpha packs that deals with both skin and skill, rocks and stones that will be available at your fingertips to start working with it. Humble Bundle offers a huge discount on all of these packs and to any of the purchases that you make, a portion of those go to charity. So if you're into Blender or probably you want to start learning some of these things, then you can take a look at the link in the description and do that. Now let's talk about the node tools that you can now get for free. So with Blender simply open, with all of the node tools in display, you can see how beautiful they are. So I'm just going to go in, select all of them, press M on the keyboard, and I'll put them in a new collection. To explore how this work is very very simple. Let's go in and throw a simple cube and with this cube here I'm going to press the tab key and within the tab key we can go over to the menu and we'll start with the first one which deals with fracturing. Now I've already discussed how you can create custom menus like this and for sure if you like to see that there is a video for that. Now for the custom fracturing we're going to add a couple of iterations, add a few seeds and we can now go ahead and explode this by hitting the randomize island and with that you can now see we have some beautiful stuff. If you like to fracture this even some more, you can simply have this object selected, go back into your edit mode, add some fracture, increase the iteration that you want, play with the seeding if you like to do so, and you can go back and also randomize. Depending on what you like to do, you can now fracture stuff easily. You may no longer rely on some add-ons to do some of these things as you can now easily do them by simply using geometry nodes. Another one which is very interesting and I think I'm going to show you guys with this one is creating noise line. This looks very much like trail systems so if you simply go back to that menu and go over to the noise extrude what would happen is this takes a look at all the individual vertex points and uses them to create noise. So you can create some very interesting things like this. You can play with the offset and also increase that and for sure if you would also want to explore with just vertices you can so we can go ahead and get a uv sphere press the tab key to jump into edit mode and if we hit the delete button we're just going to delete the edges and the faces and we are left with some points press a on the keyboard to have everything selected go all the way up and we can throw in those noise so you can see with this you can start creating amazing looking stuff so depending on what you want to make you do have options like this and you can go to town with them other tools that exist here deals with the one that can help you create webs. This is actually called quick web. And with this one, you have to select a couple of edges on a given set of mesh and you can simply play with different parameters that it comes with from iteration to probability, sagging, resolution, and also seeding. You do have a good number of options. One thing to keep in mind is don't crank the iteration too much. This would crash Blender and this is probably not what you want. Another one, which is very useful, 
the sphere along edges so this would just simply add spheres around the edges that you've selected and you can control the distance the radius and also the resolution of course all of these nodes are currently available and you can definitely go in and change them to whatever you want one other thing which i think a lot of you guys would also love is if you go over to the demo section where you get to find all of these demo files if you'd like to get base meshes the human base meshes version 1.1 now comes with a good number of stylized and also realistic models so for those who are thinking about getting this one you can definitely come over to the asset bundle section of the demo page on blender.org and download this again links to all of this is going to be in the description so do well to check them out and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and i see you guys in the next one peace